here today with my good friend Andrew who after many many years of indecisiveness you, know, you were indecisive you're all over the place no. finally picked up a Camaro Z28 yeah because you wanted a C6 Z06 initially it was one of the two that's indecisive two. and it took you forever to I finally decide I want to buy a fun sports car yes but now he has a Camaro Z28 what year is this 2014 15. 2015 Camaro Z28 and it's pretty dang awesome so let's start off let's say okay we talked briefly you were considering a Z06 yep. it was a pretty much that Z06 or Z28 Correct. What about them did you like so much? Um, I just wanted like, I don't know, I I wanted a good driver's car. Okay. Um, I wanted something a little bit more rare, which okay. is why I didn't go with the Z06. Um, if I were to do a Z06, I wanted the 3LZ package, um, which gave me pretty much a lot of what this has. Carbon ceramics. Carbon ceramics. Well, that has been never cried. The Aero. Yeah. Um, and it's just... And then again, I just wanted something a little bit more rare. Okay, that's cool. Uh, clearly down to the Chevy V8 sports cars. Yep, I wanted some... manual with the LS7. I wanted the LS. You wanted um, an LS. And I guess the LS7 being the last two Raws yeah. is the one that I wanted. Yeah. So. And then I guess if we talk briefly, all the cars you've had, this is the coolest one in my opinion. Um, By far. Before that you had the, <laughs> the Charger RT, which you struggled to put into drive at times. because you Sometimes. We, there was a drag race once in the snow in a parking lot. Or not drag race, there was a mutual acceleration event in a parking lot once. And three, two, one, go. And you just see Andrew just go backwards because he put the car in there. <laughs> I, I did do that. <laughs> so you've had the car now for, when did you get this? This was July 4th? No. no. Um, I got it in April. April, earlier this year. Earlier this so I spent a whole summer with it. Pretty happy with it? Yeah. What's your awesome. favorite part of the car? Um, I don't know. Probably the, I guess, drivability aspect of it is a true driver's car. Okay. Um, I, yeah, it's a track car, but it is a true driver's car. Yeah. Um, just having the Tremec and the LS7, it's, it's just an awesome, awesome It's, it's quite enjoyable to drive. Is there anything you don't like about it? Um, it does, I mean... I know that is one of the biggest issues is how uh, how stiff it is. It rides quite hard, quite painful. <laughs> it is pretty bad. It's actually shocking how different and you kind of get the impression of how sophisticated magnetic ride is. Oh, four five eight spider. Five, eight. No, four eight eight spider. Dang. Dang. Um, back in topic. Uh, magnetic ride really helps the ride quality. But it's like a Shelby on these same roads is a lot more comfortable than our car, even though that's just as intense as this thing. Yeah. So I guess that's my biggest downfall. Okay. Um, sec second biggest is what? Blood <laughs> Remember? What? You're completely Oh, Bluetooth. yeah, yeah. My second biggest is that it has Bluetooth for your phone for to make phone calls. But you cannot stream music audio. Yeah. It has Series XM. The radio is fine. Yeah. Ish. Ish. Um, but you can't stream Bluetooth audio. Which I don't understand. You have the whole head unit and obviously Bluetooth compatibility. Maybe I don't get the intricacies of the technology why you can also not support playing music from your phone. But but again, this is a Camaro Z28 where you had to option in the radio and the AC. Correct. So I think those complaints are not really relevant per se for the vehicle, but from a living with it perspective only, it, it could get a little bit annoying at times if you yeah. want to listen to music. But uh, I can already see the comments. This guy is complaining about his Bluetooth music <laughs> and his freaking Camaro Z28. So, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, even this one is specced with the air conditioning. Even with it, I never ever use it. it yeah. I always with the windows down, yeah. the sound of the LS, it's yeah. just, it, like I said, it's the whole driving experience um, that I really enjoy. Yeah. I hardly ever listen to the music yeah. anyways. So. Uh, reliability wise, it's been great. Maintenance, nothing serious to do. No, I've had no, no. problems. Yeah, so, you put about what, 5,000 miles since you've gotten it? 5,000 miles. 5,000 miles this summer, that's good. I When I picked it up, I flew down to um, South Carolina. Oh, okay. And I drove it back. It was 18 hours. Uh -huh. And I do not recommend 18 hours in this car <laughs> to anyone. No, so I it. it was a disaster, but um, it was a good time to break it in if you will. Yeah. Some of the other concerns, obviously, it has like a full track car. So you don't have the crazy, I think they came with Cup 2s? Is Correct. that, were no. those the, no. No, they came with Trofeo R's. Trofeo R's. So those are, I think they're like pretty much race slicks. So this has regular P0s on it now. 
Correct. That, but there's still 305s. There's still 305s. Um, that was one of my biggest, when I was searching, um, a lot of them still have the Trofeo R's on them. Um, but honestly, looking around the forms, every single person who daily drives it mm -hmm. rips the Trofeos R, R, Trofeo R's off because, uh, I mean, they are truly dangerous to drive on the street. Yeah. They are dangerous tires. So, um, if they did, that would have been the first thing I would have done. Is and them. you also, they would have lasted you 4,000 miles and you wouldn't need new, new ones probably. Yeah. <laughs> they wear pretty quickly. Yeah, 500 bucks a piece, I, yeah. I would have done that's, that. That's so. not quite. But, oh, if we talk about kind of the cost, these are a really good value. So, like, when they were brand new, I actually drove it when it was brand new. They're 70, it was a sticker for, like, 75, right? 75, 76,000, yep. And what were the prices that are around when you were looking for them? Um... Anywhere between like low 40s up into the 50s. Yeah. Still. So like, and the crazy thing was like some had were like brand new. Like you find, I remember seeing one with like 2,000 miles on it for like 46. This one had 2,000 miles on it. Yeah. And say. then, and then there's some that had like 11,000 miles on it for like 43. You're like, yeah. I'm gonna pay 3,000 more and get no miles on it, pretty much. It's, Correct. They definitely came down and like all of a sudden this was a, feels brand new, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And that is one of the things is because that I did take into consideration, not the difference in money between the C6 and this, uh -huh. but um, like you said, the best bang for your buck, uh, I don't know, I mean, yeah, you can debate on you know, this car and that car, but yeah. I mean, for under 50 grand, this is a pretty darn good car. Yes, 100%. I mean, with I the agree. ceramics, over oh, yeah. 500 horsepower. Yeah, I don't think there's another car under 50 grand you can get with carbon ceramics. Correct. Right now. Probably yeah. not. That's, that's pretty crazy too, yeah. Yeah. It definitely is really worth the money. What else? Let's see. You're going to mod it? Uh, You've talked about it. I've You've, talked about it. I'm yeah. undecided. Okay. I would not do anything force induction. Okay. Uh, I agree with that. Say, yep. I don't want to take away the... Naturally aspirated feel. Correct. Um, if I did, I just would want to do an intake, heads, cam, and exhaust. And make it louder. Make it louder. Louder, breathe a little freer. Yeah. And that's probably about it. Cause like I, I've never felt like this car isn't fast enough. It's like correct. It grip like this thing is. The, my biggest impression when I first drove it was you take a corner at X miles an hour. You're like I could have taken that at 15 miles an hour faster, 20 miles an hour faster. It would have been fine. The limits correct. are so high, and it just set up so well. You immediately feel comfortable in it. It's, it's quite a, it's quite an amazing setup. It is. I mean, even with the P zeros that are on it now, um, in the hot summer days, taking on ramps. Yeah. Um, I still have never taken it to the limit uh -huh. of even tire squeal. Yeah. Um, and you're pulling so many Gs. And I'm like, pulling so much. And it actually, I've been a little bit scared on some of the on ramps. Yeah, I remember you messaged us so, You're like, I just took an on ramp so fast. <laughs> yeah, and um, actually made my girlfriend, she was just like, I don't really feel well after that. So, <laughs> yeah. um, the drivability is awesome. The thing is, so. it's got 305, 305 section tires, all four corners. They held the record for the widest tires, front tires on a production vehicle until I believe the Demon took that. Now I think the Demon has 315s up front, and I yeah. think the 350 Shelby 350 R might also have 305s, but those are later, more recent. But back when this came out, just 300 305s all around, you're like, what? Yeah. Those are they like stick out on the bodywork well like that much? They do. So yeah. and then yeah, what is the Shelby GT50? The R. Yeah, I think it has 305s okay. up front, but that has wider in the back. Okay. Um, but I mean, overall, owning a Z28, you're pretty happy, right? Yeah. And I'm living, you, you've driven it a lot, taking it to work. I have. Uh, taking I, it on some road trips. Yeah. Um, other than, I guess, the stiffness of it. Yeah. Then I have really no complaints. And for the fun, do you think you're ever going to track it on anything? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I, I guess I would. I'd be open to it. Okay. But, um, but even to, I'm enjoying it on like back roads and stuff like that. It's awesome. Awesome. It's awesome. I like it. It is. It Glad is you finally fun. decided to get a car. I still remember distinctly when you were driving me to the airport to go buy my Laguna Seca. You were like debating because there was that Chicago Motor Cars with that really nice Z06. Yep. So I bought a car and finally now you have one. Yep. The big old American V8. So overall, very happy with your Z28 ownership so far. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to store it obviously for winter, right? I'm going to store it for the winter. Right, and then um, bring it back out again. Bring it back out. Might wrap it. I might wrap it. What color would look good? I, you wanted to do Battleship Grand. I think that would look good. I think it would look, with the black everything else, I think that would look very, very, very good. Yeah, I mean, I would leave, so I would need to clear bra or 3M the whole ground effects uh -huh. or the arrow. Oh, like um, the splitter and stuff and like I that. I would yeah. keep all that black. Can I turn left here? 
Yeah, you can have that. I would keep all that black, um, and then the rest of the body I would wrap, wrap so they have a color. Contrast. I think Battleship Grey would look pretty dang awesome. It's already an evil looking car. Hope you guys find this thing interesting because I certainly really do like it. When you decided, you guys didn't tell me when you bought the car. No. You and Steve were just like, it just showed up one day. Correct. And while, a lot, like months before that, you're like, yeah, I bought a car, got lost somewhere because Steve was supposed to be shipping it. <laughs> you guys are the worst. Yeah. So, no, we just wanted to show up one day and have yeah. dinner like, and me show off in this. I'm but, like, wait, Andrew brought a Corelzi, what, what the heck? <laughs> so, yeah, I had to keep it a secret from everyone. Uh, just because of you. Just because of me. Just because of you. <laughs> well, glad you're enjoying it. Hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, if you're thinking about buying a Z20, you're thinking about how does it compare to a new SS1 LE or a Boss 302 or a Shelby. They're all different and special in their own way, but this is definitely a very good choice. Hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching.